The obstetric exam is a cornerstone of prenatal care, providing crucial information about the health and well-being of both mother and baby. It is a vital process that ensures both the expectant mother and her unborn child are progressing healthily. It's not just a series of checks, it's a conversation, a collaboration between healthcare provider and expectant mother. This interaction is essential for building a strong, trusting relationship. Before embarking on this journey of examination, establishing a foundation of trust, comfort, and clear communication is paramount. This foundation sets the tone for the entire prenatal care experience. Begin by warmly greeting the patient, acknowledging the unique and personal nature of pregnancy. A warm welcome can help ease any initial anxieties the patient may have. Explain the purpose of the examination, outlining each step in clear, understandable language. This ensures the patient knows what to expect and feels more in control. This transparency helps to alleviate any anxieties and fosters a sense of partnership. When patients understand the process, they are more likely to feel comfortable and engaged. Informed consent is not a mere formality, it's an ethical imperative. It ensures that the patient is fully aware and agrees to the procedures being performed. Ensure the patient fully understands the procedure, including potential benefits and risks, before proceeding. This clarity is crucial for informed decision-making. This empowers the patient to actively participate in their care and strengthens the patient-provider relationship. Active participation leads to better outcomes and satisfaction. Finally, create a physically comfortable environment. The physical setting can significantly impact the patient's comfort and overall experience. Ensure the examination room is warm, private, and equipped with all necessary instruments. A well-prepared room reflects the care and professionalism of the healthcare provider. A calm and supportive atmosphere can make a world of difference in putting the patient at ease. This environment helps to foster a positive and reassuring experience for the patient. Accurate assessment hinges on proper preparation beginning with the patient's bladder. Request the patient to empty their bladder before the examination. This simple step is crucial for two primary reasons. Firstly, a full bladder can distort the position of the uterus, potentially affecting the accuracy of fundal height measurement, a key indicator of fetal growth. Secondly, pressure on a full bladder during the examination can cause discomfort, detracting from the patient's overall experience. Providing clear instructions and easy access to restroom facilities demonstrates respect for the patient's comfort and contributes to a smoother, more efficient examination. Remember, a relaxed patient is more likely to be receptive to the process, fostering a positive and productive healthcare experience. Proper patient positioning is fundamental to a successful and comfortable obstetric examination. The optimal position for this examination is the dorsal supine position. In this position, the patient lies comfortably on her back with her head and shoulders slightly elevated on a pillow. Her knees should be flexed, and her hips should be slightly abducted, allowing for relaxation of the abdominal muscles. This position provides optimal access to the abdomen for palpation and measurement, facilitating a thorough and accurate assessment. Before beginning the examination, take a moment to ensure the patient is positioned comfortably and correctly. Adjust the bed height and provide additional pillows or supports as needed. Attending to these details not only enhances patient comfort, but also allows for a more effective and efficient examination. The journey of examination begins with a comprehensive visual inspection of the abdomen. This non-invasive step provides valuable insights into the progression of pregnancy and the mother's overall health. Begin by observing the general shape and contour of the abdomen, noting its size and symmetry. Next, focus on the skin, paying close attention to the presence of striae gravidarum, commonly known as stretch marks. These reddish-purple lines often appearing on the breasts, abdomen, and thighs are a normal physiological response to the stretching of the skin during pregnancy. Document the location and extent of striae gravidarum, as well as any other skin changes, such as pigmentation alterations or scars. The umbilicus too offers valuable clues. Observe its position, shape and any signs of protrusion or hernia. This meticulous visual survey sets the stage for the subsequent hands-on assessments, providing a comprehensive picture of the pregnant abdomen. Section 5. Measuring Fundal Height, Tracking Fetal Growth Measuring fundal height is a simple yet powerful tool in the obstetrician's arsenal, providing a reliable estimate of fetal growth. 
Using a flexible measuring tape, place one end at the upper border of the symphysis pubis, the bony prominence at the front of the pelvis. Gently extend the tape measure along the midline of the abdomen, following the contour of the uterus, until you reach the top of the fundus, the uppermost part of the uterus. The distance between these two points measured in centimeters represents the fundal height. Fundal height generally corresponds to the gestational age of the pregnancy. For instance, at 20 weeks gestation, the fundal height is typically around 20 centimeters. However, variations can occur, and it's essential to interpret fundal height measurements within the context of the individual patient's history and other clinical findings. Section 6. Leopold's Maneuvers – Unveiling the Secrets of Fetal Positioning Leopold's Maneuvers, a series of four distinct palpations, provide invaluable information about the position, presentation, and lie of the fetus within the uterus. These maneuvers are essential for healthcare professionals to determine the best course of action during labor and delivery. These maneuvers, performed with gentle but firm pressure, are best conducted with the patient lying comfortably in the dorsal supine position. This position allows for optimal access to the abdomen and ensures the patient is relaxed. The first maneuver aims to identify the fetal part occupying the fundus. This is crucial for understanding the orientation of the fetus. Standing facing the patient's head, place both hands on the upper abdomen and gently palpate the fundus. This helps in distinguishing between the fetal head and buttocks. A soft, irregular mass suggests the presence of the fetal buttocks, while a hard, round and mobile mass indicates the head. This differentiation is vital for planning the delivery. The second maneuver focuses on locating the fetal back. This helps in determining the fetal orientation and position within the uterus. Moving your hands down towards the sides of the uterus, apply gentle but firm pressure to feel for the smooth convex surface of the fetal back. This maneuver helps in identifying the fetal spine. The fetal back is usually felt on one side of the abdomen while the fetal limbs are felt on the opposite side as smaller irregular parts. This information is crucial for understanding the fetal lie. The third maneuver, known as the Paulix grip, assesses fetal engagement in the pelvis. This maneuver is essential for determining if the fetus is ready for delivery. Using your thumb and fingers, grasp the lower portion of the uterus just above the pubic symphysis. This helps in assessing the engagement of the fetal head. If the presenting part is engaged, it will feel fixed and immobile. This indicates that the fetus is in the correct position for birth. The final maneuver confirms the fetal attitude or the relationship of the fetal parts to each other. This is important for understanding the overall fetal position. Standing facing the patient's feet, gently slide your hands downwards, one on each side of the abdomen, towards the pelvis. This maneuver helps in assessing the fetal head's position. Assess the fetal head for flexion or extension. This final step ensures that the fetus is in the optimal position for a safe and smooth delivery. Section 7. Auscultation, listening to the symphony of the fetal heartbeat. Auscultation of fetal heart sounds is a moment of profound connection, allowing us to hear the rhythm of life growing within. This practice not only reassures the expectant mother, but also provides a tangible link to the developing baby. This simple yet essential assessment provides valuable information about fetal well-being. It helps in monitoring the baby's health and detecting any potential issues early on. Using a Doppler ultrasound device or a fetoscope, listen for the distinctive sound of the fetal heartbeat. The Doppler device is particularly effective in capturing these sounds clearly. The Doppler, a handheld device that emits ultrasound waves, is particularly useful in early pregnancy or when the fetus is in a posterior position. It allows for early detection and continuous monitoring. Place a small amount of ultrasound gel on the abdomen and gently move the Doppler probe until you locate the fetal heartbeat. The gel helps in transmitting the sound waves more effectively. The fetoscope, a trumpet-shaped instrument, amplifies sound waves and is typically used in later pregnancy. It provides a non-electronic method to hear the fetal heartbeat. Place the bell of the fetoscope on the abdomen and listen for the rhythmic beating of the fetal heart. This method requires a trained ear to distinguish the heartbeat from other sounds. A normal fetal heart rate ranges from 110 to 160 beats per minute. Monitoring this rate is crucial for assessing the baby's health. Document the rate, rhythm, and location of the fetal heartbeat. Accurate documentation helps in tracking the baby's development over time. 
Any abnormalities should be investigated further. Early detection and intervention can make a significant difference in the outcome for both mother and baby. Section 8. Conclusion, emphasizing the importance of ongoing prenatal care. The obstetric examination, a symphony of observation, palpation, and auscultation, provides a comprehensive window into the world of the developing fetus and the health of the expectant mother. From the initial visual inspection to the gentle rhythm of the fetal heartbeat, each step contributes to a holistic understanding of pregnancy progression. As we conclude this journey through the obstetric exam, it's crucial to emphasize the paramount importance of ongoing prenatal care. Regular checkups, open communication, and a strong patient-provider partnership are the cornerstones of a healthy and fulfilling pregnancy experience. Encourage patients to embrace prenatal care as an opportunity to actively participate in their journey to motherhood, addressing concerns, celebrating milestones, and ensuring the well-being of both mother and baby.